What's up my friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you on a fishing adventure. Uh, you've heard about my boat, I've shown you it in a couple of videos before, but I've never gone and actually talked about how I get the boat ready and actually do some fishing. So today I have a friend who's gonna join me, my friend James. James, come in and say what's up. Yo. So James is gonna join me and we're gonna go and take out the boat, show you the process, and then get our fishing poles ready and hopefully show you us catching a few fish. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is take the cover off the boat. When I store it, it rains a lot here in the Pacific Northwest and I don't want the boat to grow mold or algae and get all gross, so I cover it up. And so the first thing is, let's take off the cover. So now we are ready for the next step. Screwdriver. To lift up our roof right here. All right, before we bother hitching up and bringing us down to the ramp, it's important to get all the dock lines set up, the fenders set up, so there's less drama when we get there. So the next step I usually take is installing the fish finder. I have the Lowrance HDS7 unit with the full transponder with side scan, down scan, sonar, GPS, all the bells and whistles. It's pretty easy to hook up. You can see here, there's a red and black connection. On the back, there's a red and black connection. I'm just gonna go ahead and match those up. All right, fish finder set and ready to go. All right, so we have taken the cover off, we've gotten the roof up, we got the fish finder installed. The next thing to do is load up all of our gear. So let's do that. This is the most important step. If you forget this, your boat is likely to sink. It is this little thing between you and utter destruction. Uh, I had a moment at the lake where I thought I forgot it and I dove in the water and went behind the boat and started pushing it back on the trailer. It was not good. Now I triple check the plug. So I have a plug holder right here in, in the inside. I'm gonna take it out. It's gonna go right down here under the engine, okay? You wiggle it in, you give it a little bit of a twist and then you snap it into place. Now the plug is set. We will not sink the boat. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have you keep an eye on my mirror here. And we're gonna pack this baby in. And so we get it nice and underwater and then we slam the brakes and it slides right off. And so now you can see James over there has the lines and he is pulling the boat over to the dock. I'm gonna go ahead and put the trailer out of the water and go park. All right, so some of you guys might have been wondering, why did we put those buoys so low? And you can see here, it's because the boat sits real high in the water compared to the dock, so we actually need them up high. Ready to go, James? I'm ready. Let's do this. Trim is down, now we start her up. Just like a Honda Civic. All right, let's let James get in the boat and we'll get the hell out of here. All right, so we have the boat launched. Now, this is honestly where my knowledge pretty much ends. Uh, we're gonna be fishing and trying to catch fish, but the reality is I have only been fishing like 20 times in my whole entire life, like the entirety. And I think three of those were with you last season. Uh, and, and so my knowledge is very limited. And so what we're trying to do here is learn. I'm trying to learn as I go. And James, like, what's your experience with fishing? Fishing has been a part of my life as long as I can remember, but I've never gotten any good at it. I have fished uh, all over the country. I've done bass in Texas. Uh, I fished for Northerns in Chicago. I fished for salmon out here. Uh, very rarely do I have the right gear and very rarely am I successful. Um, I'm really looking forward to helping John learn the basics and then uh, as we continue I'm hoping we learn more about the region, more about the local fishery, and uh, maybe start to actually catch fish when we go fishing. 
that would be great. I think it'd be a good time. That'd be really good. Yeah. And so I have a friend who actually fished this lake this weekend. He uh, limited out two of the people on the boat, so that's 20 fish caught in about three hours. Wow. So I'm pretty excited um, because we have a plan that's been vetted. Nice. Um, he told me he was fishing at one mile an hour, so we're actually going to drift with the wind. Um, we'll have a video probably about how to use trolling motors here shortly. For now, we're going to drift with the wind. Um, he was fishing on the surface and he was fishing about 10 feet down. We're gonna focus on the surface because we don't have downriggers to help control that depth. Uh, he was using uh, bright colors, lots of flash. Uh, it's very clear water, but this is gonna attract kokanee from a distance. So we are looking at things like wedding rings. Um, this is a pink one, they're often orange. I'll be using an orange one, he'll use a pink so we can see which color is more successful, zero in. Uh, but this loosely imitates salmon eggs, and uh, the flash is gonna rotate, give you some more attention. And we have two hooks, we're gonna load these with some salmon eggs, which again, look a lot like these. So it's gonna put a little scent in the water too. Nice. reach a stage where we've been fishing for an hour or two with no bites so I've moved over to a spinner uh, which is a heavier cast and retrieve lure uh, heavier lure is going to give you the opportunity to either fish deeper or retrieve quicker in this case I'm trying to retrieve nice and fast keeping the lure off the uh, well not only off the bottom but just a foot or two deep and that's a spinner right there. So that spoon's gonna spin around that weight at a high rate of speed. And the business end is a treble hook. Okay, well, we didn't catch a single fish. Not one, not a single one. James, we, we tried the wedding rings, we tried some other things. I caught a weed. You did? I think I did better than you today. If, if we're adding up the things we caught total, you won today. But if we were talking Go about vegan. fish, it's, it's absolutely 100% tie. That's fair. Okay. I'll call it tie. All right. All right. Well, this was fun. We, even though we didn't catch anything, kind of got to show you the whole process, how I deal with the boat, how James sets us up for fishing. Even though we didn't catch anything today, we are coming for you, fish. Your, your days are numbered. And so, what do you guys think? Leave us some comments. Let us know if you want to see more fishing adventures. We'll be happy to take you along, show you some other lakes, and show you some of these tags when we catch some of these trout worth prizes. Right? We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Yep. Something. Okay. You guys know what to do. Go ahead and click like, click subscribe, check the description for any links. Much love from me. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.